half of it is bleeped out so it really shows that they do stick to the title no filter hey guys thank you for clicking onto this video you saw the title you saw the thumbnail we do have another no filter season which let me start off by saying I still don't know to this day what the point of the show is like I know I understand it's a show about Tana and her life and her crazy life but we do see all these things and events on her snapchat Instagram YouTube she does tell us all, all these things so for the show to be filmed and then when it comes out we're like oh we've seen this we already know that she ate a dollar bill and her tooth broke are you like thinking about ending things with Jake? I they kind of do come out like a little bit outdated but I mean whatever it's it's a show about her so if you haven't seen the first episode I'll recap you on it because you really don't have to see it there's nothing special going on I don't know if it's supposed to be funny but the whole time I watched this episode I was just like this this is my birthday! I got married to fellow YouTuber Jake Paul. I love you, Jake Paul. Even though the funny moments of the episodes, the laugh that they captured from like her and her friends are just like... Can we redo this? Oh, just to recap on the episode, just so everyone is on the same page, the episode starts off with her recapping the last season and what happened in the last season, which we all know people are still waiting on the money they paid for the marriage stream. Boy, if you don't get Thankfully, uh, Jake Paul isn't not seen in the whole episode, but we'll get to that later. Uh, she just is like, oh, this is me, this is another season, we're gonna do this better, we're gonna do this bigger, let's get to it. And the first episode is centered around Jordan moving out of her house. <sighs> Dad, we're your kids! Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, I really feel bad for this person. He has to deal with the most, just, I don't know, like obnoxious people and because he was moving out they decided to hold a garage sale which <laughs> if you take a look at those items they were just insulting and now we just have a table with bras and boxers like what what makes you think that you can sell this i mean i understand it's it's supposed to be entertaining and it's supposed to be for an episode for an mtv show but why would you sell underwear in a garage sale I don't understand if this whole episode is supposed to be like a big troll or it's real and honestly this is a problem we don't really know if this how Tana acts like Amari just seems like so over the top we don't know if that's how they act in real life it just seems like they're putting on a show because does that really happen in your day-to-day -day life or I mean they are putting on a show because it is for a show but the show is called No Filter, so why do you have to act for the show? It's supposed to be your life. It's about you. In the episode, we do get a snippet of her new song because now every YouTuber wants to be a musician. <laughs> Hearing her song was actually really good. I was like, okay, I would actually listen to the song. It sounds like something I would listen to on the radio during the summer. It actually sounded really good. She sounded different and the beat was just like a different beat. It sounded like good. It sounded like a professional. It didn't sound like a YouTube music video. You know what I mean? In that scene, Tana talks about her lungs and how her lungs are suffering and we probably will get more episodes about that because it's, I guess, a health issue for her. She does sound like, like, I guess, what, what do you call that? when you can't talk it's like <laughs> without you like that are you kidding what happened uh, why what my lungs happened? are just like failing me right now like your lungs yeah like well that's not like good stop. yeah no 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 i know tuberculosis why don't you stop so smoking weed honestly i'm a addict and it sucks she does sound like she it's really hard for her to talk but i'm gonna say it i don't feel bad it is her doing. She is the person who chose to do this. Like, we know that smoking is bad for your lungs. And we know that it would harm your lungs. And people don't realize how much harm they can do to their body 
once they start doing something like for example alcohol and they do talk about alcohol with her friend uh, like you drink a couple of shots one day and you're like oh it's fine let me just do it again do it again do it again and all of a sudden you're just boom you're you just hit a brick wall and you're like wow I'm addicted it doesn't happen as fast as people think but with her girl you need to throw that and I understand it's probably really hard for her because it's been her image to not be perfect it's been her image to be like oh I'm the smoker I like to do this I like to do that that is her image so for her to just take that part of her image and clean it like Matsun said it will be hard but that's what you gotta do girl like you can't just eat five cupcakes a day and expect not to gain weight one day you will gain weight and one day you are gonna be like wow i really need to lose those 25 pounds and that's what she needs to do i'm not saying that she needs to lose weight that was just an analogy for what she's doing when it comes to the devil's plan Ugh, i hate censoring myself on youtube which brings me on to the next topic the show is called no filter why am i hearing beeps <laughs> overall the episode was not funny, but it was more entertaining than the last season because you don't see Jake Paul in it. But unfortunately, for the teaser to the next episode, we do see him in it. So I'm like, oh, that's going to be the episode I won't be watching. When it comes to image, I feel like in this show, everyone just has their own image and they brought it to the show. It's nothing new. It's kind of, like if you think about it, it's really nothing new. Like we're not getting any new content. Like I said, we do see all these events happen on Snapchat, Instagram, her YouTube, whatever. And everyone have their own, I guess, image and persona. So for example, her friend Ashley is kind of the, oh, I am a little bit mean, but I act cute. So yeah, she does act like that throughout the episode. Her friend Amari is like, oh, I'm the crazy one. My personality is this, this and that. Let me just bring it to the show and act like how I usually act. Free on all purchases of $30 or more. Is this like prostitution? If yours is prostitution, mine is definitely. Ours prostitution. really just looks like we're trying to get. And that just got me thinking, how does an MTV big production show is not as entertaining as someone just making a vlog like honestly I would enjoy her vlogs way more than I would enjoy just watching her do these shows and episodes and I really want to see more like I guess her sitting down talking to the camera head-on but I understand it is a show they need to do crazy things and do click worthy things what's strange about the show is that it's called no filter so you expect to see the raw full thing but I did notice in this episode, it's kind of really hard for her to connect to her emotional side. Like, yeah, the whole thing is about Jordan moving out of her house. And, and her friends are like, oh, I think Tana is really sad about this. And even Jordan was like, oh, I think she's sad about this, but she's not showing it. I feel like Tana's probably super sad that Jordan's moving out of the office. So I'm like, what's the point of having a show that says no filter when you're not really connecting with your emotional side you know what i mean thank you for making it to the end if you like this video give it a like if you're new here subscribe and if you didn't like this video tell me why in the comments below let's fight and yeah i'll see you next time bye